Tula Fellow, very good afternoon to you. What is the actual state of the farm in question? The state of the farm can be described as, as bad. Uh, we were there from yesterday. We've seen members of the SPCA coming in, having to put more than, you know, a hundred pigs down uh, because they say that there's no way that uh, the pigs can be rehabilitated uh, because some of the animals, some of the animals were actually, uh, you know, uh, already eating the other carcasses that were in the enclosure. And uh, the SPCA uh, explained that there's nothing that they could do for the pigs but just to put all of the pigs down. And to today they then moved to, to yesterday they, they um, put down five sheep and today they then uh, put the, had to put down uh, more sheep. So it, 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 it's a very bad state of affairs at the farm at the moment. Tulu Fellow, has the SPCA succeeded in opening a case against the farm owner and former Northwest Premier Tandy Modese? Well, uh, when, when we spoke to uh, Andres Fechter from the SPCA, he indicated that uh, he plans to open uh, the case on uh, Wednesday, saying that he's still gathering all the necessary you know, evidence to ensure that uh, he then uh, proceeds with uh, going to the police so that the criminal charges can be uh, brought against whoever is responsible for what is happening at the farm. Now, according to the SPCA in its claim, what has the farm done wrong, which according to their standards appears to be illegal? They say that uh, generally the, the state of neglect of the animals, uh, you know, it's basically it's tantamount to a case of cruelty to animals, saying that, uh, you know, the, the, the neglect, the issue around uh, the animals not uh, receiving um, uh, veterinary services or any uh, vet coming to the premises to look at the animals and the fact that they stayed, the animals stayed a couple of days or more than a week without food and water. So they say that that indicates that, uh, you know, there was a serious cruelty to, to those animals and uh, that's why they believe, they strongly believe that there's a case that uh, needs to be answered for. Tula Fellow, very quickly, in view of circumstances, what is likely to happen from here going further? I mean, the Premier did express that it was an unfortunate mistake. She wasn't aware the animals were left alone by the caretaker of the farm. Yeah, what we've seen happening today is that there's a team that has been put together by the former Premier uh, uh, to come and look at the situation around the farm. And the team is made up of, uh, we were made to believe, a veterinary uh, doctor, and even some lawyers to look at the legalities of the action that has been taken by uh, the SPCA uh, up, so far, up to so far, and maybe to even look at issues around, uh, you know, the, the, the employees that left the, the, the you know, the, the farm unattended, unattended for the days that they did, uh, leading to the, the bad state of affairs mm. uh, that affected the animals that, was, that were on the farm. That's SABC reporter Tulufelo Matibi.